So you know if there's gonna be a Dollar Tree shop with me on the Purple Alphabet, you're probably gonna see a Dollar Tree haul next. <laughs> so that's what we're doing today, a Dollar Tree haul. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. This is not the only bag, it's just one. I have plenty more to show you. So in today's video, we're doing a Dollar Tree haul. I recently did a part two to Dollar Tree fall Halloween. So you can go watch that. It's a whole shop with me where I show you all the new things that are on the shelves. There's a part one to that too. So I'll also have to put that up in the corner or down below so you can go watch it after you watch this. But for today, Here's what I ended up with. This video isn't gonna have a lot of fall stuff or Halloween stuff because I haven't committed to it yet. I still want it to be summer, but I did get some of the paint sets. And this time I think we're going to actually use other paints other than these. I think that would be a lot of fun. We got the Hello Autumn one and then this little pumpkin scene here. We used to get these all the time. I've kind of let off over the years as my kids have gotten older, but I think it might be fun to take extra paint or even because there's green in that one. There's not green in this one. Anyway, get some extra paint and to decorate these for Thanksgiving or fall. Did get some of the acorns. I think I have the plain wooden ones and also the acrylic ones already. But these are just a really good thing for tinker trays and they're super pretty. If you wanted to use them in larger quantities, that might get a little costly, but for the tinker trays or using them as manipulatives, these would be really great for that. In the baking section, you're gonna find a whole bunch of really cute baking accessories. So these are cupcake picks. I have little skeletons here and some little sunflowers. And I think I might use these, cut off some of the sharp edges and use them in some tinker boxes or tinker trays. And there was so many other different styles too. It's really hard to pick a favorite, but that was pretty fun. These are brand new and they are Hot Wheel tracks, but they're curved. So Dollar Tree has the other Hot Wheel tracks, the straight ones. They also had, I think they had a loop and then they had a launcher. So this is a new addition to that. So having the curved track. So I got a couple of them. Where's the other one? Here's the other one. So we can make like a circle. So I thought this would be fun to add on to our little Hot Wheels collection that we have and see if these actually work. The other ones work really, really great. I did end up with some of the minions. These are going in my gift closet. We have the minions here that was this called Splatums. I guess there's a little catapult and they're supposed to kind of splat. <laughs> Two different styles. I, this one they're wearing their little outfits. This one they're just in their normal yellow outfits. And these went really, really, really fast. So if you did catch some of these, you consider yourself lucky. They had a couple of other different styles too. There are some really fun sensory toys. We had some squishy monsters here. We got the red and the orange. I think there was maybe three or more different colors. Showed you in my shop with me. Just thought they were really fun and my kids love, love, love these. And then along the same lines from the Orb sensory brand, Orb is a brand name. So they're kind of known for their sensory toys. Here's another one. And they had those kind of gel bead sensory squishies. So this one is a dog in red and cat in like this really pretty teal. And they've got like the Orbeez inside. So when you squish it, it's a lot of fun too. Great stocking stuffers, thinking ahead, party favors, classroom prizes. These are really great. I ended up getting a couple sets of the generic Lego minifigures. I just pick these up from time to time when they come out with new ones only because they are a really good quality. Now some of them can look a little funky but then again some of the Lego ones look a little strange too but I got the best ones I think. This is the Beach Life set so it's got five characters in there and I really like the Hula Girl, girl personally and the lifeguard. <laughs> the thing with these is that they have smaller sets that come four to a package so definitely look for the five because you kind of get an extra one. This one is the sports one so Dollar Tree also has those little sports plates or Lego. She could use these with them. I like the referee the best. So got two of those. And then along with the Lego set, I got the construction and the city. So my daughter loves to make Lego cities. So I thought this little gas station would be really cool. And the little, um, looks like a motorbike, I guess. And then this one is a construction one. So she likes to add those city elements. And for $1.25 for a set, that's really good. So 34 pieces in this one, 44 in this one. And we've tried these before in a Dollar Tree toy test and had really good luck with them. Sketch pad. This is the new brand that they've been showing at Dollar Tree. I actually got the one that was vertical, I guess is the best way. This one is more of a horizontal tear out sketch pad. 64 pages, it actually has more weight or more pages than the other packages we usually get. But I would have to say the weight is just your typical kind of copy paper weight. So it's, it is more sketch pad versus, you know, taking paint to it. So I got one of these to try. Found some really fun magnetic bookmarks. This little brand, the Adore, is that what it's called? Yes, the Adore 
brand, they are coming out with some of the cutest little supplies in the office section. These are magnetic bookmarks, and if you notice, they match all the patterns that Dollar Tree came out with, so a lot of fun. And then for me, I found these magnetic bookmarks. They come six to a package that were just a little um, like sayings on them, some inspirational things on them, because I've been doing a lot of reading, and I'm reading a lot of books at once, so having a couple of these would be really helpful, other than just using a piece of paper to mark my spot. These are new to me. I think they're brand new to Dollar Tree, too. They are craft funnels. There's three of them in here in different sizes. This is actually going to be perfect for diamond painting when I put all of the little diamonds back into their container. Probably end up using the smallest one. And I actually was thinking about getting a little funnel off of Amazon, but don't need to now. I have this. Also, this is also great for beads, storing glitter, putting glitter back in the container. Just a really good craft item to have anyway. This I got in the crafting section. It's like a little organizer box. You can put beads and things inside. I'm actually going to use this to make an Instagram reel, but I don't have this little round shape. This is new to me. I have the longer one, the regular pillbox one. So I kind of like that it's round. Lots of fun socks right now. We have the koala socks. These are the long socks. These are all women's by the way, but my girls wear them, especially my 10 year old. She fits into these. We're really cute cat or cheetah. <laughs> it's a cheetah. And then we have, um, this is a two pack. These are zebra. And then we have the actual zebra here. So zebra print and the zebra. My kids go through socks like nothing. So I thought it'd be fun to try these. These are the longer ones. These are the short ones. Here's some more socks that I just found in my pile over here. This is a two pack for my 10 year old. And sometimes these fit kind of small, but I think these are going to do pretty well. Donuts and stars. The claw hair clips. I haven't tried this style yet. I usually use the regular claw, but I wanted to see if my hair would work with it. It came in brown and in black. Let me see that when you do it, the claw kind of looks like that versus just all the way curved. So I'm going to try it. My hair might be too thick for it, but we're going to give it a shot. Found these reflective safety bands. They're actually slap bracelets. And so you can put them around a lot of different things. I thought these would be good for the girls' bicycles or um, my husband does a lot of running at night. He might really like to get, use these. Four to a pack, that's a really good deal if you ask me. So you can use it on ankles and on wrists. So good thing to have on hand. Picked up some antibacterial wet wipes. This isn't the brand I normally get. They seem to have the brand that I normally get out, but this is a good substitute. There's two packages in here. We keep these in the car. And since we've been traveling a lot, these have come up handy just to have something to clean your hands off when you're in the car and not buy a sink. Brand new to me are these microfiber cleaning sponges. I think they're a name brand, Copper Lane Cleaning, or is this something Dollar Tree's always had? I haven't, I don't really recognize it. I don't buy too many cleaning things from Dollar Tree, but this kind of caught my eye because we have some stainless steel stuff and it says it would work on non-stick cookware and stainless steel appliances. It has a soft side, like a microfiber side, and it has like a scouring side, which is the copper side. So if you try them you gotta let me know there's four in here that was a pretty good deal and they're machine washable couldn't pass up some new party finds we have some tissue paper so usually summer is when i use the most of this then i have to replenish it for the year and i use the tissue paper for gift bags i'm good on gift bags i think but i got um, a package of this little heart rainbow tissue paper that comes with the blue and then this rainbow kind of tie-dye looking that comes with some white the ones that have the metallic in them come five sheets to a package but if you don't get those you get these and they have eight sheets to the package that's a pretty Pretty good deal. Did get some new paper straws. These were in the party section, but I thought they looked kind of fall-esque. I thought they'd be perfect for a tinker tray that I have coming up or a drink tinker bin video that I have coming up and they're just paper straws. Now, I don't know if these have been around forever and I'm just now seeing them, but they are basically the dupes for the command strips, picture hangers. There are four pairs in here, so you can hang up a couple of things. You can hang up two pictures or maybe if you use all four for the weight, you might, might use all four. They came in white and black. I got the white ones because that's all I saw at the first store, but then I saw them in another store that they were black too. And so I'm guessing they work just like the command strips and they're removable. So wish me luck. I don't want paint falling off my walls. <laughs> if you've had them and they're a success, please let me know. I am hesitant to use them because they are a Dollar Tree project, but I really are hoping they're a more affordable option because if so, I'm going to buy all of them because we're constantly hanging up things in our house. We have some random things in the car section. I found these Armor All disinfectant wipes to use on your dashboard. I usually get these from the car wash, but every now and then I just need to just wipe everything clean and dust them. Probably a better deal to buy these at Walmart or something, but I only need a couple here and there. So we got those. To pick up some more Lysol wipes because we are going on a trip. I use these in the hotel. Yes, I'm a germaphobe, but you can never be too sure these days as I did 
did some of these. These we just use when we go on trips. They fall apart within like five uses. And so it's just a really easy thing to take with us when we are traveling so that we can use it on the go and not worry about it. I'm gonna put the other Shop With Me videos up on the screen for all the fall and Halloween stuff. Those are definitely a must watch. You guys click subscribe to see more videos like this. Give me a thumbs up to show your love.